Hi everyone, uh, my name is Matt. I'm the lead pastor here at Journey. Our church is about 11 years old and it was birthed out of a vision to bless college students. Uh, but over the years it's evolved into much more. Uh, we're reaching about 250, 270 college students, uh, close to about 100 young professionals and young adults and uh, having some families. And it has a very strong mission focus, uh, you know, really gearing toward training sending out workers and um, we're planning on doing church plants we've done one in north carolina and just as the lord allows we're really committed to church planning and world evangelism my life was radically changed by the lord during my college years and so i, I see the young stage of our life as a critical time to really invest in people spiritually and uh, so my passion is coming from Matthew chapter 9, uh, the harvest is plentiful, the workers are few. I really see this as a time where we train workers to be sent out. So our church, more than about staying, I would say the majority, 80, 90 percent, it's about being sent. And because there's such a short amount of time during our 20s, 30s, 40s, uh, we really try to pack it in with intentional discipleship and leadership training uh, with the intent that we will glorify God and, and become missionaries and workers for Christ. So probably the one thing that we're most distinct in is probably our prayer culture and emphasis. Uh, we have morning prayer most days of the week and uh, Thursday night we have multiple prayer meetings and tonight in this room uh, we had our usual Friday night worship service where there's a topical message uh, but maybe more than that there's just a lot of open-ended time to seek God in prayer and worship often going from 30 minutes to an hour. We have things called prayer vigils where two times a year we're getting together as an entire church and praying and worshiping from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. And I, I guess in the end, the church most reflects the spirituality of the pastor. And for me, at a young age, it was really instilled that uh, prayer is essential. So everything that we do uh, begins and ends in prayer. <laughs> wrap our hearts with lace and ribbon and God we present it before you and we know that you will find it acceptable in your sight because we've claimed your mercy God we've received unconditional love and God because we are a people and a generation set free God we're here tonight to give you the highest praise and we're here to unite our hearts together as one that Lord even if we don't know the people in this room all too well God because we have the same spiritual DNA the blood of Christ flowing through us in the same spirit God we pray that you would preserve the unity here in this room and that we would love upon one another simply because you have first loved us so God thank you for breath thank you for voice that we can shout praise thank you for ears that we can hear the word thank you for hands and feet that we can go and send and spread the message of your gospel so Lord we love you God, we ask for a visitation for tonight. Western view of parenting is what? A good father uh, goes to kids' soccer game. Good, good father uh, make sure that there's a roof over their heads at night and meal on the table. And yeah, you know, good father is at home and not you know, always outside and missing. Okay. You know what? When I look at the Bible, good fathering means I share time with my kids in such a way that I raise them up in the Lord. And they end up serving and advancing the kingdom of God. Sunday services, uh, 9.30, 
1130 at Georgia Tech, uh, about five, six different universities represented it. And then we have a service at 130 called our East Side site. And it's pretty contemporary, um, time of contemporary worship. Um, we really prefer ex expositional preaching on Sundays. So we start a beginning of a book and just plow through it verse by verse. And it, it just has a very uh, spirit-filled sense where we not only uh, listen to the word, but I, I think it's important for us to respond to it. And so prayer and worship sometimes could go on from anywhere from 15, sometimes 30, 40 minutes after a sermon. And uh, just having an extended time to fellowship uh, Sunday, we call it Celebration Sunday, and it's that one time where we can remind each other uh, that we're in Christ and that we're saved by his grace. And so we put a lot of emphasis into doing a quality Sunday service. Few weeks ago we had our annual college retreat and that's just a once a year time where we get together from Friday night to Sunday just have a wonderful time just of getting to know each other uh, we have extended times to pray often going 1 2 a.m. and the young kids the students they just have a lot of energy but we try to keep it God centered and having it in September it really serves as a launch pad for the rest of the year and they really feel closer to one another and just getting blessed as we seek God. And so it's always been a very powerful time. And our retreat that just passed, it, it was no different. Uh, we also have a young adult retreat coming up in a few weeks. And similar focus, uh, a little more relational, uh, not as intense physically, but uh, again, very spiritual. And uh, we're expecting most of our Eastside community to come out and to seek the Lord and spend some time together. Lord, because it is your kingdom, your dominion, your power, your glory, your fame, your reputation, your people, your resources, God, we just give back to you what is rightfully yours. God, may we never stay in a prolonged state of familiarity. But Lord, may there be awe and wonder as we, your saints, are in the habit of meeting regularly to remind ourselves, lest there be a hardening of our hearts. We want to proclaim that Christ is our all in all. Thank you that you love us perfectly, and thank you that you seal, God, your blessing and your presence by your Spirit as a deposit of our inheritance, that one day, Lord, it is 100% guaranteed, take it to the bank, God, that you will carry us all the way through this earthly life, whether we're sick, whether we're healthy, whether we're rich, whether we're poor, whether we're lonely, whether we're surrounded by a throng of witnesses, God, we know that you will take us to heaven shore, and God, we will worship you in spirit. Hi, um, my name is Joshua Kim. I'm the associate pastor who works uh, mostly with a college ministry. Uh, so this is our uh, fall college retreat. Uh, we have this every fall semester. Uh, 
a little bit towards the beginning. Uh, it's kind of a launch of our college ministry and it's a good way for um, new freshmen who come to our church or you know other visitors who are new uh, to kind of get exposed to what our church is all about. Um, and you know when we get come to uh, this retreat uh, we just try to pack as much uh, blessing into a man like almost a 48 hour period and uh, we do you know, we, have, we usually bring guest speakers to preach the Word of God, and then we worship, uh, we pray. It's kind of the first time that we really push these guys in prayer, and uh, some of them aren't used to praying, you know, more than 10 minutes, but we try to push them to pray more like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. On Saturday night, sometimes we even pray up to two hours, and uh, it's just a, uh, an opportunity for them to get exposed to what our church is committed to. Um, they're in small groups, which are divided up by life groups, which is our um, regular family group ministry, our small group ministry, and uh, it's able, it allows them to come together, uh, process the things that they're learning uh, at the retreat, and even share convictions that, so that when they leave this retreat, um, they can continue to do life together. Um, there's usually some time in the afternoon for them to hang out, um, play games, if the weather's nice, some of them play tennis and basketball, which uh, this facility is really great for. Some of them just sit together and talk and share it and become friends. So um, spiritual blessings and spiritual friendships is basically what all this retreat is about. And we just wanted a 48 hour period where we can really um, pack all of that um, in a weekend. Church of Atlanta. This is probably my third or fourth time coming down here. This church is a sister church of ours. We are all part of a larger group called uh, Acts Ministries International. It's an apostolic community of churches. I also work with college students in New York, so they invited me down here to speak to college students in Atlanta. And I've been having a great time doing it. As mentioned earlier, our family groups are communities of anywhere from 8 to 20. Uh, they meet various regions in people's homes or in dorms and we believe that in a large community uh, it's really hard to do the one another commands and to really apply and to support one another uh, that can't be done just by coming on a Sunday so we have probably 90% of our church committed to these weekly family groups and they're all led uh, by lay people uh, we have training meetings where we empower them and equip them, uh, but I, I just really love our family group ministry where it's life on life and we're hashing out biblical principles together. And so they do meet for maybe two, three hours. Uh, a lot of them like to eat dinner together and uh, it's going back to the book of Acts where they met regularly uh, and they were devoted to the word, prayer, uh, fellowship, as well as the sacraments and worship.
conqueror. For that is what we are in you because of your sacrifice, because of um, your calling us into your family. You with us today as we share, um, that we would be open and vulnerable, and we would also speak truth um, into one another that um, we can just walk away revived, we can walk away empowered, um, feeling like we're not alone, but that we have brothers and sisters by our side, behind us, in front of us, uh, and through that, that we would, um, although separately and individually in our own schools or in our own workplaces, that we would um, walk together as conquerors and that there would be something attractive and undeniably um, spiritual and of you um, as people observe how we live, how we work, how we teach, how we serve, and how we love. And through that, that people can come um, to know the name of Jesus. Um, be with us. Be blessed. Um, give us your eyes and your heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Father God, that he would just rejoice in being able to have that relationship with you. God, um, play his part at the church, Lord God, I just pray for that heart of his rejoicing, Father God. My name is Joe. Uh, I lead the small group with Gina, and, um, you know, I like it. I like the, the family, I guess we call it family group here at Journey Church. Um, it was actually uh, my first introduction to the church and my first introduction to um, Christianity. Uh, it's, that was kind of the, the main segue of uh, when I got saved freshman year in college at JCA. And uh, what I love about it is it's a place you get to see the intimacy uh, of Christ uh, with brothers and sisters. And it was the first time I really saw um, just that genuine love uh, that people uh, here at JCA, but also just Christians have for each other. Um, and I was just be able to, I was able to witness that here. And so, uh, you know, going forward, family group is something I look forward to coming to uh, every week because it's just the time to catch up, uh, time to, um, you know, pray for one another, to receive prayer, and uh, just spend some good, uh, intimate time together with people I feel like I'm walking through life with. Uh, my name is Ben, I am a um, ministry intern here at Trinity Church, and uh, I guess I'm a part of this Norcross uh, family group. Uh, I really love this family group because um, a lot of us, we just kind of grew up within college and kind of graduated and we all stayed here, and, um, and then there are a bunch of new people that came that started working here, and it's been great just to get to know, we meet a lot of new people, and um, just really, um, as we struggle through the first few years of working life, just really get to have that honesty and just to share with one another, just really even uh, break bread together, and um, it's been good just to know that um, there's someone praying for you. Yeah. Um, I love how passionate our church is, and I think I really fell in love with JCA through Pastor Matt, how much passion he really has for the church, and I think I struggled a lot like my underclassmen years when I was a freshman and sophomore, um, even within the church, um, because I grew up in church and I know what churches are like, but seeing P. Matt so passionate about really having the heart of Christ, that I think helped me to see the passion, even in my own heart, to really reveal the plans that God has for me. And I'm really thankful to have grown because I'm a senior right now. And just to see the changes that I've come through since my freshman year and serving as a helper for a family group and leading a life group, um, it's been a really blessing to see how the girls have changed so far. And so just even to walk with them in that way, I'm really blessed knowing that, you know, I'm so broken, but God still chose to use people like me and that he'll continue to call people like me who are, you know, broken and we're so, you know, lost, but he still calls us because he loves us. And I think through P. Matt and JC, I was really able to see that. So, yeah. Hi, 
I'm Jessica and I'm a senior now at Emory University and I've been coming to this church for the past four years since my first semester of freshman year. And something that I really like about JCA is how we're a community fighting together on the spiritual battle. None of us are alone and there's always such a great encouragement, such a great support system that um, there's always someone praying for me. There's always someone who is there to come and listen to me when I am going through a struggle and there's always people who share my laughter, share my blessings. So together we just live out this life together and together we are fighting for the same common purpose. So that's something that I really enjoy. Uh, I've been coming to JCA for about a year now and I absolutely love it. Uh, when I came, uh, a friend brought me in and I've been a Christian my entire life growing up, but uh, JCA really has such a wonderful sense of community that um, whenever you just walk in the doors, everyone just says hello. Everyone's just so uh, willing to hear about your day and how, how your week went. Um, so that really spiritual community is really what sets JCA apart um, from any other church that I've ever been to. It's a, um, I like the community here. Uh, everyone's really tight-knit and really friendly. And that helped a lot since I'm new here to Atlanta. So uh, thank you for watching. We really hope you come and check us out because this place is such an amazing church and I'd love to share this experience with you. You know, thanks so much for, for listening and watching. You know, I just want to invite you, if you ever find yourself in a major city where there is an AMI church, we welcome you. Uh, whether you're in college or you're, you're a fam you have a family, uh, we're open to everybody. Uh, my church is in New York City, Remnant Church in Kipps Bay. Uh, this church, Journey Church of Atlanta, uh, down here in Atlanta, Georgia, and different places around America. We have a website, amichurches.com and we welcome you to check us out and we'd love to see you one day. Thanks a lot for watching and if you'd like to get more plugged in or uh, get to know us a little bit more, again we have all of our information on our website www.jcatlanta.org. It has our Sunday service information, uh, family groups which are groups of 8 to 15 that meet weekly in more intimate community and our, our church is very lay driven so everyone feels welcomed it's not just the pastors but everyone tries to do their part in serving and, and welcoming newcomers uh, so thank you very much and uh, god bless well we're so glad uh, that we we're able to share just a few glimpses of our church and what we're all about and if you know there are any college students or high school students who are thinking about colleges to go and you happen to find yourself at emory or georgia tech uh, Oxford or Georgia State, we would love for you to come check out our community and we'd love for you to come worship and experience God with us. And um, There's so many opportunities to get connected to people your age and it's so important uh, that you feel, find a spiritual home in your college years. So come join us, we'd love to have you. Thank you.